Hey guys, welcome to Christina Cakes It. I'm Christina and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute reindeer cake. So it is the holiday season and there are so many cute cakes to make and I really wanted to make a reindeer cake for Christmas this year. I have made a deer cake before and this cake is somewhat similar but definitely has a little bit of a Christmas twist on it. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create this cake. And the first thing you're going to see is I already have, um, this is a four layer six inch cake and I did cover it with actually this is Nutella buttercream, um, kind of like a lighter shade of brown. So this cake is ready to go and ready for all the details. Another thing to note is I actually did a lot of prep ahead of time. I cut out and prepped all my fondant, but I'm going to show you guys how I created that. So the first thing that I did is I created a template. You guys know I love my templates. Um, these, this is gonna be like the face of the deer and I already have two of these ready. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory but I did create my template so I could get the spacing correct. So these are gonna be ready to be put on the cake. So I also prepped my little deer ears ahead of time. So I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. So what I did is I just have a little bit of brown fondant and I wanted it to match the cake color as closely as possible. So I'm just gonna roll this out. And these were actually um, from my rose, um, like flower cutters, but they work perfectly. It's like a teardrop shape. So I'm gonna have my brown and then just a little bit of white fondant. And then this is obviously a little bit smaller than my brown and I'm just going to place it on there. This is actually just sticking right to it. If for some reason it doesn't, you could attach it with a little bit of water or my favorite, Wilson Davin Holds. And I did create these earlier because I wanted them to harden a little bit because they are gonna stand up on my cake. So I recommend creating those a little bit ahead of time, like a day ahead of time. So of course I had to create these antlers and these definitely you need to do ahead of time because they need to harden. So I'm gonna show you how to make these. So here I just have a little bit of wire and I'm gonna cut this, and you're gonna make two antlers, obviously, but I'm gonna show you guys just how to make one. And what you're gonna do is just bend your antler, and it's going to insert in the cake. And so, oops, so it's gonna insert in the cake, so that's why you're gonna want it bent like so. And from here, you're just gonna take your white fondant and you're gonna cover your antler. And you're just shaping it around. And then if any like excess comes off, just rip it off. And the good news is realistic antlers are not um, super smooth. So there's a lot of like forgiveness with this. And fun fact that female reindeer are the only like deer species that have antlers. So I learned that. So our cake can be a girl. Well, I guess if it's gonna be Rudolph, it has to be a boy. It can be gender neutral. Okay. So you're gonna take your fondant here and placing it around the wire. And you can kind of like smooth it between your hands. Like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to add like little, I don't know what to call them, like little nubs. So you're gonna take a little bit of fondant and you may need to use some dab and holds to adhere this or water, but as the fondant like warms in your hands, it, like when it's warm, it kind of gets a little bit sticky or like, um, yeah, like more malleable and you can kind of just like mold it into the other like main antler. So you're gonna do that and maybe he needs one more. So I'm just gonna go like that. And you do wanna be careful, you don't want your fondant to be too heavy. Like I can see like this 
here, like the end, when I pick it up, it feels like a little bit weighted. So I'm just taking off that excess fondant. Like if you're worried about it, make these definitely smaller rather than larger. Smaller, you're not gonna have to worry about them falling over. So this feels really stable in my hand. And what I would do, you're obviously gonna make two, like I said, and I would st um, stick it, this is just like a cake dummy, stick it in your styrofoam um, overnight. So I have these already done and now I have an extra one just in case. And I want these to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna use a little bit of powdered brown food coloring. And, oops, I don't wanna make a mess. I'm just gonna tap away my excess and making sure that I'm tapping away the excess. I'm gonna just kind of carefully paint some of this onto my antlers to give it a more realistic look. Again, you definitely do not have to do this step, but I just think it looks nice. It also kind of like covers up any flaws. And I'm being really careful because this antler is pretty fragile. So, I mean, it's hardened, but definitely don't put any pressure on it. So now that I showed you how I prepped all my fondant pieces, I'm gonna start placing everything on my cake. So I'm gonna start off by just placing these pieces um, like at the bottom of my cake. And I actually don't need any dab and hold, like these are just sticking right to the cake here. And I have to think there's gonna be a nose right here. So for the nose, I'm just using a red gumball. You could use like red fondant if you'd like. I just had a red gumball left over from another episode. And now I'm going to draw the eyes on. This is the part that always makes me the most nervous. So I'm using an edible marker, Americolor. I'm gonna make sure that I start. And the good news with this is that if it was really crooked, you can always just start over with new fondant. So now I'm gonna add little eyelashes. You know, it would probably be smarter to actually make these lines before you put the fondant on. That's what I would recommend. It's like draw these on the fondant before you attach it. So deer have those cute little spots. So I'm gonna attach these. I just cut these out of fondant, um, little circles like ahead of time. So after I have all the little facial pieces on here, I'm going to place my ears. I just made some red buttercream, well red, white, and green, like Christmas colors. And I'm just gonna add some swirls in here. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of green. I always test it out on the back. And I'm using my leaf tip 352. And I'm just gonna create a little bit of green back here. Add that Christmas color. I also have these little gold, um, like edible beads I wanna add to the cake, just like a little something extra, like pretty for Christmas. So I'm just kind of carefully dropping just a few here and there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of piping around the edge to clean that up a little bit. And the very last thing that my reindeer needs I think is a little bit of color on the cheeks. I'm using powdered food coloring and I'm just gonna add that down here. Okay, so reindeer cake is complete and I think it turned out so cute. I absolutely love this cake and it would be perfect for any holiday celebration. 
My one tip would definitely be to make the fondant pieces ahead of time, especially, especially the like, antlers. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel.